This industry specifically, I think, breeds a lot of passion. It's not just a punch in, punch out kind of job. You gotta really be committed to it. Atlantic Brewing was founded by my uncle and aunt in 1991. And this was really at the dawn of the microbrew. Really, bottle was craft beer. And then as cans started to become how people identify with craft beer, at the end of the day, the benefits of, of that package outweighed the benefits of the bottle. So we made the transition. We wanted to get to know Wild Goose. We're not the biggest brewery in the area. A lot of how we're able to, to do business and what we need to do business is a lot of that gut feeling. Like we want to meet someone, look them in the eye and feel, you know, this is the person I'm going to work with. We were shopping for a Gosling, which was more or less their new entry level item. We were not only impressed by the quality of the machinery, but the quality of the attention they paid to us. So we knew that if they are going to provide this level at the baseline, it's going to go all the way to the top. The Goose customer service has been great. They had a technician come out and show us how to use the new five head filler and kind of showed us all the parts of it. We each got a turn on it and we're rocking and rolling. A swift machine means packaging members are available to do other things. They can make more beer, they can keg, they can, you know, design new recipes. Packaging can be a long day, so when you can condense that timeline, it just sort of leads into all better things. Wild Goose just makes it easier on everybody because it's a newer system than what we were previously using and everything is very seamless. Canning day is probably my favorite day of the week. We're excited about the quality of what we're able to produce. Light, heat, and oxygen are really the main spoilers of beer. When you can, it's a lot harder to get oxygen out of. You have a bigger opening composed to a bottle. We have um, shown to have amazingly uh, low levels of oxygen, which makes our beer really shelf stable. Wild Goose probably say, oh, we knew that was going to happen. <laughs> we wanted that beer to be stable and delicious from day one to day 180. And we're excited to report that our can has met all of our standards and we are moving forward as planned to be a, a can brewery um, by the end of the year. If you're another brewery looking at Wild Goose products, do it. It'll make your life easier and you'll get products to customers faster. They're not going anywhere. They're dedicated and they're able to provide the service for years to come. As you grow, you need to be able to get into a lot of places, um, whether it's new stores, new markets, new people's refrigerators, and having a packaging line, a canning line specifically, has really allowed us all of those avenues and allows us to continue to grow and continue to move forward and advance our company and our brand.